If you were looking for a repair video on the Canon Maxify GX7021, then stay tuned because today that's what we're going to be doing. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer repair video and today we've got the Canon Maxify GX7021. Essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cleaning out the print heads. Why would you need to clean out the print heads? Essentially if you're printing out blank pages, not printing certain color, or you have an overall in general print quality issue. The methods I'm going to show you in this video are going to help you to clean out the print head and will allow you to get back to printing normally again, like when you first bought the printer. Now if you're new to the channel, welcome. Everything printer related is what you're going to find on this channel. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below and if you want more content like this please make sure to subscribe now there are going to be product links for various products i talk about here in this video that's going to be in the description below also for additional support you can visit my website bestprinterstech.com it's linked down in the description as well speaking of links in the description box the product we're going to be using to solve this problem is my very own product the best printers cleaning kit essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use this kit uh, with the cleaning fluid and the syringe we also have some attachments we're going to be using that are in this packaging that is how we're going to be able to clean out any blockage that is in the print head that's essentially what this product does there is going to be a link for it down in the description below at any point in this video you can pause go down there get one for yourself and come back and watch the rest of this video also there will be chapters down below for your convenience so that you can kind of skip around if you need to when you're watching this a second time when you're actually doing the cleaning you probably will want to kind of skip around uh, but I always always recommend that you watch the entire video so that you get a full scope of what you need to do at least one time then the second time around of course you'll probably skip around all right i hope this video ends up being helpful but without any further ado let's get right into this repair now the very first thing we need to do is we need to set up the printer in order to do the cleaning we're going to do this by printing off a nozzle check now you can actually keep this nozzle check for yourself but for in this case what we're going to be using it for is so that it actually is printing something out while it's printing out that page you're going to unplug the power cable once that's unplugged you then have access to the print head by lifting the top of the printer it should be able to move left to right and you're going to want to move it all the way to the left so that you can now unlatch that blue tab and then the gray tab they have a number numbers on them one and two uh, you're going to flip those back and then you're going to be able to pull out the print head. Now you have total access and have removed the print head. This is what we're going to be cleaning. This is what is causing your issue right now is a clogged print head. So you need a deep plastic container such as this one. And of course you need the best printers cleaning kit. As I mentioned earlier in the video, there's going to be a link for this product down in the description below. You can pause at any point. Click the link, get yours, and come back and watch the rest of this video. But the attachment we're going to be using uh, for this specific print head is a smaller L-shaped plastic piece. You're going to see that there. There's two of them, and we're going to be using one of those small L-shaped pieces. And this is the exact piece we're going to be using. You're going to attach it to the silicone tubing already attached to the syringe. Once that is attached, you're now ready to use the other end of it to actually connect into these print head ink connections. So this is where uh, the ink is actually pushed through. And so you're going to need to determine what the colors are. Uh, but right off the bat, this one that I have it connected to is going to be yellow. And you're going to have them kind of color coded from there. So in order to clean out the print head, what you need to do is you need a steady flow of cleaning solution being pushed through the color. Now you need to determine what color is giving you the most issues. If it's yellow, you're going to push this whole 20 milliliters through, through yellow, and then you're going to actually add more, and I would keep pushing through if that's the only color you're having issues with. If you're having issues with some other colors, you're going to want to share some of this uh, cleaning solution with those different colors. Maybe do 10 milliliters at a time until you feel satisfied with the cleaning. Now we're going to switch over to another ink insert on the print head. And this next one is going to be the cyan color. Now what happens when you mix cyan and yellow? You get green and that's what you're going to see ends up happening here. 
If you have a really bad clog, you may not have any ink coming out like you see here in the video. So if that's the case, that's totally fine. If you're having any issues with not being able to connect, you're trying to push the solution through and the connection is breaking apart, or you just have too much, uh, too much of a resistance, then what you need to do is you need to warm up the cleaning solution and then you need to reapply that warmed up cleaning solution to the print head. It's very important that you do as much cleaning as possible while you have the print head out and you're already working on it. Try to get the majority of the cleaning solution pushed through uh, these ink inserts. So once we've finished up and we feel satisfied with the cleaning, then at that point, what we're going to do is we're going to have to clean off this print head, especially if there was a lot of ink that was pushed out of the system. You're going to need to basically use whatever additional cleaning solution you have. And with the syringe, you're going to kind of just wet the whole print head uh, so that you kind of clean off some of that excess ink. And then you're going to use a paper towel to clean the rest of it. Now you do have some plastic gloves in the cleaning kit, so make sure to use those so that you don't get any ink on your hands. So once you're done with actually patting down the print head, it should take a few minutes because it's a bit of a cleaning process. But once that's done, you're actually going to leave this print head to dry for 24 hours. Make sure that all the ink is totally cleaned off on the outside. And once you've waited 24 hours, uh, now you're getting to the point where you can actually reinstall it into the printer. Now to reinstall the print head into the printer, all you have to do is es essentially put it back the way you brought it out. So everything should have stayed the same uh, with the print head carriage. And as long as everything stayed the same, then what you can do is make sure you find the chip on the back or the motherboard on the back of the print head, match that up with the connector on the printer carriage, and you're gonna put it in uh, just like I did there with the green motherboard facing backwards. Then you're gonna latch everything in place as you found it, number two first, and then number one, gray and blue tabs. You're gonna click those in place, and once everything is in place and secured, you can now begin the process of reinstalling the power cable powering on the printer. And the next step we're going to take is a very, very important step in this whole process. And that is we are going to go into the settings. Once we've gone into the settings, we're gonna click on maintenance. Once we've gone under maintenance, you might have to scroll down, but you will get to the point where it says ink flush. It's very important that you do all the colors. You're going to need to flush this print head. So that's basically going to push any additional ink that there is through the system and it's going to replenish the system with brand new ink. It's at this moment that you need to know you have to have an extra set of ink in order to keep your ink tanks full. This is going to use quite a bit of ink. So there's going to be a link down in the description below for a new set of Canon ink. It may take a few times of that ink flush. You may have to do some deep cleanings, but at the end of the day, you should be able to totally, totally clean your print heads to the point where you are printing as if you first bought the printer. Those are the results you can receive. So I hope that this information was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Remember all the product links that are in the description below. But that's really all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.